days did you see that then? So it looked too buoyant, I think. Too buoyant, it was popping it right up. I don't want it popped up. I just want the hook mask by this. I don't want it like floating up in the air. It was, it was pulling the whole thing up, like the swivel, the uh, clips and everything. Too much, so I'm gonna bang it in half. But did you notice the hook bait was riding it over itself? So it almost fell down on top of the lead. It was coming backwards like that, do you know what I mean? Uh, so I'm gonna half it, check it out. I want five bits of lead now, I've got five bits on there. You may think that's mad, right? But the, all the, most of the fish I've had, the last four fish, I think I've been on three bits, no, four bits. I've, I've sort of stepped it up a bit. It's only the hook point that don't need to be weighed down. So uh, I've got five bits on this. Just watch, it's better, I think. Bait's still pushing it over, see that? <laughs> That's in, it's, it's definitely the heaviest bit of it. Now I'm hoping it's gonna have the same principles when it gets picked up, it flaps, it lays down, just the same as it gets picked up. I'm hoping anyway. Sweet. So, uh, watching that, happy with the lead now, right? I'm happy with that amount. I think that's perfect. I think that really works. What I did notice, and I've always noticed this in my whole life, when you use the string, when it melts, you get that blob thing, right? And I've noticed on the last four that I've done here, where this rig relies on the rotation of the hook, yeah, and you can't have anything in its way, like, do you know what I mean? Like nothing. Don't like the way I've been wrapping it around. No, I've been wrapping it around. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and remove. That aspect of it. Give me. I'm gonna tighten like that. That way when it melts. That blob thing, like the knot, if you will, is just gonna float away. Again, another percent. Another percent. There you go. Right now, still ain't happy. Then we noticed the hook bait was pulling it backwards. Every single time, the hook bait is clearly the issue. The lead sorted. PVA sorted, cut it in half, man. Way too much. Way too much. Get rid of it. Alright, so now we'll sort the bait out. That'd be days, man. So we've halved the PVA nugget and now we've quartered it. We've sort of turned it into a snitchel, whatever it's called. Chicken snitchel. Yeah, you went with that. I might find out.
Yeah. 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 Right. Pretty obvious, really, isn't it? So that's all set. Got my four, four bits of party, five bits of party, whatever. That's at an angle for the weed to pass through, and I've put a single bait stringer just to keep that weight down, hoping that that's going to lay it down on the cast. Check it out. Yeah. One more little tester. Notice something throughout the whole test. So we've gone one, two, three, four, five bits of metal, uh, putty, half a bit of foam, whole bit's way too much. We got the bit of PVA at the back so we don't get that loop thing, that blob. And I've pinched, just pinched that in. But there is something else. I'll show you that in a minute. I just want to see how this works. Go on, girl. Right, so little thing, what I did notice there, all right, what was going on? I'll show you, just quickly. I'm gonna do this. What I noticed, oh, people keep ask, asking me why I got a table all over my rods and all that, all over my landing nets, look. I've got it all over my net, all over my rods. This is my rig, rig ready thing. So when I'm down the lake, I've got a little bit of tape, happy days. Pack up, whack the lead in there. This this tape's been on there about three weeks, man. Same bit. Check that out. Parker. Top and bottom. Yeah. Sick, man. Just pull that off. Done. Anyway, what did I notice? Every test, right? The thing. Let me put that there. Was riding up here. Oh no, this is the wrong one. Hang on. That was the end result, Rob. Right there, look. So. on the deck like that as soon as it was cast out that was like that that hinge was up upright completely upright and that's what was causing the bait to sort of like ride ride back on itself and fold out that was the problem there that hinge yeah so we made a splint up check it out Right, just quickly, forgot to show you. The splint, how comes that worked all oh, so nice. This is how, so you bang that in there. So it doesn't hinder that coming off. Yeah, see that, just come straight off. Just slide it. In there, push it right in, and 
even measure that. Cut that sucker. And slide that in there. Now that will keep it going forward. And it shouldn't you shouldn't lose that in battle either. That'll be tip top. And for a bit of extra added precaution. Just put a knot on there, man. Just a PVA knot. Not that. Up. Right here, my go-to rig. You can see that better. So, check that out, that's bad. That is bad. Right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five. This is the newer version with the stripped back five mil. I've only stripped it back five mil there, see that? I want more of a hinge, but, see that? The main bit of weight, that bit, is heavier than that bit there. And I've left that tail. That's the bit I've left the tail. And just at the end of the tail, I've put a little bit of putty. Now that will lift up gentle. That'll lift up a little bit. You've got to remember, weight underwater don't weigh as much on land. You've got a thing called neutral buoyancy and, and shit like that going on. You, it, it doesn't weigh as much. You might think that's a lot, but underwater it changes. It gets it's sort of lighter in a way. So, smaller hinge, five bits of lead. I've got my PVA thing going on. Quite easy now, it's like second nature now. Uh, so what, yeah, so the smaller the PVA, the better, I think. You don't need a big bit. Five bits of lead, that helps the fall down. Tying this at the back helps getting rid of that blob and all the rest of it. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, just give it, I did try a sliver on one point, a lot, I cut it down there, but same sort of principle, just give it a pinch. You'll get rid of a lot of the air, so it won't be so buoyant. But I'll tell you what, one way to find out, I'll fire. Get it over. I think that's a better release of the PVA squeezing it. Came off too quick before. More importantly, I'm watching that hinge. I want to see how this lands. Yeah, man, that's pucker, that's proper good. See that? 
man that just floated down the hinge i knew I, I didn't know but the hinge was definitely an issue there if you get me too much of a bend it could come down see that that's just i'm going to use that so there you go we've solved it fish bangs out 120 yards you got the big boys you got some pva give it a go man viper rig all the way uh, can't really say a lot else than that do you know what i mean uh yeah peace out on that that was sick man watch it again right sick here we go then five bits of lead squeezed half bit of pay not round the back viper rig with the splint splint on pva see the splint Yeah, look, it just sits perfectly already, just off the cast. Even if I push that down, look, it's stick, it ain't coming up no more. Squeezing that PVA is the way forward, I reckon, and the lead. With one bit of lead, I don't know how that will react. Go on, I'm hoping that bit of lead there, that little bit. I'm hoping that pulls it down. Yeah, I've got no problems with that, look at that. Yeah, nice sip, man proper happy you couldn't get further away from the lead and it's all sitting pretty job done man happy days there get on that right swear to god that's pucker isn't it long range fishing forget you do bags in the weed and all the rest of it, but long range fishing nailed that one yeah <sighs> smell you Yeah. <laughs>